pygmy marmosets. Many people like monkeys, and we'd like to tell you about an extraordinary representative that can easily settle down at your place. Pygmy marmosets are small monkeys living in the rainforests of Central and South America. Their body length ranges from 15 to 25 centimeters. It's fascinating that marmosets have a unique way of communication, including different sounds and gestures, also assisted with a tail. In wild nature, the maximum age of these monkeys is 11 years, and in captivity, they can live 15 years due to appropriate treatment, veterinary checkups, and vaccinations. How do they behave living with people? If owners provide them specific keeping, the babies will bring much joy to both children and adults. A cage or a terrarium can be used as a dwelling. Since in nature marmosets enjoy climbing trees, you should put different sticks, ladders, and ropes for their comfortable living in new apartments. Besides, feed pets with cereal, chopped fruit, and vegetables. You mustn't give them sweets or other human food. Don't forget about additives containing vitamins. And it's better not to take marmosets outside. Loud noise and unfamiliar people can frighten them. Would you get such a little friend? Sugar gliders. No doubt that even extremely serious people can't resist a tender smile right now as we can watch one of the cutest little things in existence, a sugar glider. Gliders don't have solid parameters. Their legs and body are joined together with a special membrane. You've already guessed what for. That's right, for flying. It's curious to know a membrane helps the animal fly a distance of 100 meters from one tree to another. Moreover, while flying, it can maneuver, making a U-turn. Sugar gliders are a perfect match for people who are so-called owls as they have the same schedule. In a week, the animal will become absolutely pettable and will request you take it from its cage. A cage for chinchillas may serve as an excellent apartment, but don't forget to make a little house inside made from any soft fabric. Do you know why they are sugar? They love sweets! That's why melons, bananas, and apples are great treats. These little animals need to be taken out for a walk, so please take it for a towards evening stroll around your home. But be ready, as it won't just move quietly around. What's more likely is it will fly, sit on rails, or hang on curtains. Mini pigs. Keeping piggies at home has become quite fashionable. Obviously, they are unusual. Pygmy teacup pigs, to be more precise. Mini pigs are considered to be smart and are easily trained to obey different commands. The animals are quickly taught to use the toilet and don't smell badly. These pets will become great companions for fitness and healthy life lovers. <laughs> The owner will have to control its eating habits, feed it different diets, and use physical exercises to help it avoid becoming overweight. The perfect diet includes high-calorie cereals with a little milk in the morning, fruit and fresh or boiled vegetables for dinner, and cereal with fruit as an evening meal. Physical exercises imply daily strolls. It's essential to walk the animal both on the ground and the asphalt surface to help its hooves rub off naturally. Any breed of mini pigs like water treatments, so you can often bathe them. As for conditions, everything is simple. They are the same for cats and dogs. The exception is no restrictions in movement. If you are allergic but want to have a pet, rejoice! Mini pigs are hyperallergenic domestic animals and can be kept even by people suffering from asthma. Red-eyed crocodile skinks. Imagine you've got a mini dragon. Those who keep such exotic pets don't have to picture the scene. The body of a crocodile skink makes it look like a crocodile, but they turn out to have nothing in common. A skink is quickly adapted to living with humans, gets attached to its owners, and can become quite domestic. Skinks are nocturnal animals. They naturally have rest at noon, relaxing in their shelters under stones, roots, or fallen leaves. Sometimes the lizards can choose underground housings left by other animals. With its tail, a crocodile skink can reach the body length of 17 up to 20 centimeters. In wild habitats, its lifetime is about 12 years, but in captivity, it can rise to 20. And you should know how to welcome this unusual pet into your home. We'll tell ya! Consider its nutrition habits. They are insect-eating animals, so you should give them familiar food, namely snails, larvas, worms, and bugs. 
Adult species can be fed two to three times a week, while young representatives need to be nourished daily. It's also wise to assign that one lizard needs a terrarium with 60 by 50 by 50 centimeters dimensions. The coconut substrate is put on the bottom and should be kept wet. Spray terrarium walls with water of room temperature and make dry podiums for heating. Ready to get a dragon pet? Toucans, a bird with a big bright beak, that was an easy guess. A toucan is one of the most recognizable birds in South America, and a beak is its most salient part. It looks massive, but in fact it weighs next to nothing. What's it necessary for? There are two reasons. First, it assists in making loud noises to chat with relatives. Secondly, it helps a toucan emit excess heat to avoid thermal overload. Yep, this beak is not only beautiful, but also useful. Toucans have a good reputation as pets. The birds adapt easily to unfamiliar conditions and don't find them too stressful. A toucan needs space, so put it in an aviary, not a cage. Equip it with ladders, decorate it with sticks, leaves, and other plants imitating jungles, and your feathery friend won't get bored. It will follow a diet you've prepared. Cereal, fish, vegetables, low-fat meat, insects from a pet shop, even dog food soaked in water are all perfect nutrients for the bird. You mustn't give them nuts, seeds, and iron-rich food. I don't know about you, but I want to have such a friend. <laughs> stick bugs. If for some reason your parents won't allow you to get a pet, get a stick bug. It will pass for a stick and you can put it in a vase. They won't notice anything. I'm joking, but if you're an adult who doesn't want to keep a big pet, stick bugs have some advantages for you. Keeping it isn't a hard task and it won't be expensive but its owner will have a chance to boast about having an unusual and rare thing. It's easy to get food for your exotic pet because stick bugs are completely omnivorous. Currants, raspberries, blackberries, and oak leaves are perfect food for them. Linden, briar, and hawthorn leaves are also fine. When picking leaves for a stick bug, make sure the plant hasn't been cultivated with pesticides or herbicides, as chemicals can kill the insect. Everything is easy in summer, but what shall we do in winter? Freeze sticks with leaves to make high-quality food. When the leaves thaw, they are like fresh ones. What about an apartment? A great thing is a common aquarium with a special cover providing free access for air. To create a cozy atmosphere, put sticks and bark pieces in the aquarium. Have you decided to keep a living stick yet? Snake-necked turtles. Got bored with common turtles? We found an extraordinary family member, especially for you. A snake-necked turtle isn't big, but has a surprisingly long neck, which, along with its head, is almost the same length as the body. Fantastic! The whole animal is estimated to be 30 centimeters in size. This turtle doesn't have to appear at the water's surface. She can just stretch her neck to look around and take a breath. Like many other freshwater animals, it is a predator. In natural habitats, it feeds on fish and snails, but sometimes it can eat water plants for a change. Its lifetime is about 50 years. If you want to have a pet turtle, the best home for her is an aquarium with a medium water level or an aqua terrarium, but not less than 50 centimeters high. Put a cuddle bone there to let the turtle sharpen its beak and refill calcium. You better not decorate its house with plants. Turtles gradually eat and rip them out. But massive stone constructions or fixed logs are perfect. Please keep each animal apart as they are quite competitive. Fish, prawns, squid meat are excellent for the turtle's nutrition. Young turtles should be nourished daily, while adults after the age of two can eat once every two or three days. Iguanas. Lovers of big pets, are you here? If so, listen carefully, we'll tell you about iguanas. They are huge lizards, whose length can vary from one and a half meters to two meters. Newsworthy, iguanas have great sight, but at night it becomes worse. There is a third eye covered with a large scale on the cranium. It's not used for observing the world around, but mostly necessary for circadian cycle synchronization and space orienting. The owner of a big lizard, keep in mind, it needs much space for comfortable living. You'd better get a terrarium with dimensions of 180 by 220 by 100 centimeters. If you don't want your pet to taste sand or the ground, don't buy it for its dwelling. On the other hand, the grass carpet is a perfect match. 
The essential thing is the lizard won't try to taste it. An iguana should be fed with fresh plant food. A salad would be excellent. You can also give it berries, fruit, or veggies as a treat. An important detail is that iguanas drink little water, so don't worry if you've noticed much water left over in its bowl. Just sprinkle terrarium walls with water and your pet will absorb it for a good balance. South African Spring Hares The next exotic animal you can keep at home is a spring hare. I bet you've never heard about it. Its 45 centimeters long body resembles a small kangaroo, but its head is similar to a rabbit's one due to quite long ears. Like many other animals, spring hares usually move on four legs, but if there's danger, the rodent will stand up on its hind legs and spring on its enemy just like a kangaroo. Spring hares are not aggressive, however. Being calm and friendly, they quickly start showing a human much affection and can become rather domestic and pettable. Mostly, they eat different plants like fresh herbs, juicy roots, capolas, and tubers. Sometimes, the rodent's diet can be varied with proteins, namely caterpillars, bugs, locusts, and other insects. Water is not essential for spring hares as they take it from food. Still, you shouldn't forget to give your friend a drink. If you're determined to get this pet, draw attention to its dwelling, a cage with a little house inside. It must be high enough so that your rodent can jump up. Lowland Streaked Tenrix A streaked tenrix appearance resembles a hedgehog only because of the needles, and we can state this exotic little thing is an absolute member of the hedgehog family. Don't you melt when you see this tiny, slightly surprised face and bristled needles? A tenrix is the only mammal that is able to communicate the way snakes, crickets, and bugs do. Along the center of the back, there are beige-thick needles, which make a high-frequency sound and help hedgehogs chat with relatives. What an unusual way to get in touch! Want to have such skill? Their main natural diet is worms and seldomly plants. The animals are rather neat and good for keeping at home. They won't mind a new skin-wrapped friend. A cage can serve as a house covered with leaves at the bottom. Tenrix like digging holes in them. There's no problem with food, the little things are almost omnivorous. But please forget about feeding hedgehogs with milk, it is absolutely banned. Animal products should be 90% of the diet. It's alright to feed the pet once a day after dark, not a picky pet at all. And what pet do you have? Write your comments! So long, don't forget to subscribe so as not to miss the next video.